Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my underground mansion tutorial. This is a very, very easy to build tutorial. It seems like it's kind of complicated, but it's not actually that hard. It has everything you'd ever need to live. You have an awesome little bedroom back here. You have a nice enchanting slash brewing area, a nice storage slash furnace room, and a cool little pool with a secret underground room. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so for your modern underground home, you're gonna need the materials found in my hot bar below. And you're gonna want to make a little entrance like this. You can go ahead and just copy this one if you'd like. I'm not gonna show you how to build it because that's not important. We're gonna get down to the good stuff, so we're gonna open this little spruce door. You wanna build a ladder down pretty deep, honestly. You don't wanna make it too shallow because if it's too shallow, it's not gonna work. I've gone ahead and done the hard work for you guys and dug out this room. This is a 23 by 23 by 6 room, so make one of those. Again, 23 by 23 by 6. I know it's really big, but it's going to be a really big modern underground home and it's going to be lots of fun. So first step is going to be making your walls. Your walls are going to be out of the gray clay block or gray concrete if you're on the newer versions. just I'm, I have the torches there just for lighting and you do that for the walls and on the floor we're going to do a cobblestone floor which we are going to change it up in some parts of the build but for now we're just going to do a standard cobblestone floor and then on the roof we're going to use blocks of quartz so that's going to be the roof material. Again, nothing too fancy, nothing too difficult. I have confidence you guys can do that. I'm going to whirl around like this, and then when I come back, it'll be... There we go, guys. It is all complete. You just shake your camera really hard, and everything will happen. So you got the quartz ceiling. You got the cyan or gray hardened clay walls and the cobblestone floor. Again, these torches are just here for your visual purposes, so you guys can see the recording a little bit better. But now I'm going to take some spruce wood blocks, and I'm going to outline the staircase here. I've decided to turn this into a mansion because, again, I have not built this before, guys. This is all going to come from my head, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Usually it's something good. If not, you'll never see this recording, and I'm talking to myself, which is kind of weird. But if you do see it, then, uh, yeah, it, it, it worked out. So these are the glass planes. I like to use white glass panes because I think they look, I don't know. I like the way they look. You don't have to use glass panes, of course, if you don't want to. But if you want to, it looks nice. That's just going to be the area where, you know, like the ladder is. You could even go ahead and do something like that if you wanted to make it look even, uh, you know, a little bit more fancy. Something like that. There we go. Now we have a little ladder room. Next step is going to be actually depressing this uh, two blocks. Actually, let's see. Yeah, two blocks under. And we're going to make paths in between the rooms. So you go ahead and just boop boop that. And uh, we don't need any more white stained glass for the time being. And we're just going to... Um, we're going to pick a block for the walls under here. So I'm going to use a brick walkway. So we're going to go ahead and just put brick there. And then um, I'm trying to think of a block here. Let's do cobblestone on the walls like this. So if you want to just like... You, you can bring this down right here, but everywhere else you want to do like a cobblestone wall. So now we're just going to break out the paths in here. We're going to do one center path like this. This is just going to be like a modular sort of uh, room layout. It's going to be like an open floor or an open open floor. <laughs> I don't know. I already forgot. I was just talking to my girlfriend about that, but I don't remember what it was. Open. An open concept floor plan. There you go. There you go. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't think of that again. Again, we're just sort of repeating the same thing here. We're just digging out this path. This is going to be where you walk in between your rooms. Next, you want to decide how big your rooms are. So that's just in the middle of the room, the middle three blocks, if you guys were wondering. And uh, we're going to find the other middle. So how you do that is you take the diagonal corner like this, and you take a diagonal block, and you just kind of build it like that. We'll just leave the torch there. And then you do it with this. So again, just the same thing. Since it is a completely square room, it is an odd number, yes, but it should end up with a three space in the middle since it is the, you know, the same thing. And then you want to just dig out these paths as well. So again, the diagonals are just there. You know, I'm just using them as a guide block. You might want to do that too. Just thought I'd give you, give you guys a little tip. A spooky Minecraft sound just happened if you heard it right there. Now that, that might be the most uh, scary thing I've experienced all day, which isn't much because I've just done laundry and uh, hung out with people. That's pretty much all I've done. Nothing, you know, scary, but that is the scariest thing that's happened all day. I thought I'd tell you guys that. Um, again, we're just digging this out uh, perfect, and now I'm going to lay the brick floor. Not going to record that part, but I think you guys get it. You know, there's brick everywhere. Brick is, you know, brick is love, brick is life. So we're just going to do that real quick. All right, there we go. We have the brick uh, floor, and it looks like, oh, what is that? Andesite? What is that? Dot granite? Freaking granite was trying to hide from me, which is okay. But uh, again, you know, we're just going to bring these cobblestone walls down on the paths like this. And then on the actual wall, like right here, we're just going to bring down the gray clay. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that everywhere. Something pretty simple, but I wanted to, you know, mention that just for you guys so you wouldn't get confused about what I did. 
All right, there we go. All the paths have been dug out. Now we're gonna make some nice little lighting fixtures. So on the corner blocks here, we're just gonna put some glowstone like that. Again, nothing too fancy, but uh, you know, I would recommend like not building this unless you have these materials because I don't know what you'd substitute. You could put torches right there and I think it would look just fine. But I personally, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, but you definitely could. We're just gonna bring this uh, cobblestone up like that and we're just gonna make it look like it's somewhat supported. Again, you gotta, you gotta support the roof. Support 2017 roofs. Because if you don't, they'll come back to bite you in the butt. And then we're going to put glowstone up here. And we're going to make a nice little... Uh, I don't I don't think it'll be that fancy of a light fixture. But it'll it'll work. It'll work for now. And then since I'm on the PC, I can go ahead and do that on the underside. Which I know some of you guys can't. And uh, well, really on the inside there, you, I just, I'm just i just going to fill it in with, uh, with, with glowstone. Because it's going to be not working if I try to put the trapdoors on the inside of two interior adjacent blocks. It will not work. Fun fact, I only learned what the word adjacent meant in geometry freshman year. So uh, I love using that word because it still feels like I'm, you know, like, you know, doing, you know. Schools help me, right? Right? School helps you guys? <laughs> Somewhat. I don't know. Honestly, like, school is something I was never a huge fan of, but, like, I did it anyways because, you know, parents and stuff. And it's good to get your high school education. Now I'm going to do some uh, conceptual lighting up here. We're just going to do uh, some weird shape. Um, honestly, like the, like the shape of this lighting is not going to matter. That's three, that's three, and then one, two. So just like copy that. So if you guys see what I'm doing, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks up. So this entire wall here in that three, and then you have a three block gap right there. And then you're just gonna put your glowstone lining the back of this. I'm only gonna build one of these, but I'm gonna do this on all three sides. We're gonna have a little bit of symmetry in this build. This is the one place where glass is going to be necessary, the full glass block, as if you use panes, it's going to connect and it'll just, it'll look icky. And no one likes icky things, right? Except people that are into icky things, which is, you know, that, that if they wanna be, that's okay. It doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, if you like worms, you like playing with spiders and worms, go ahead, but that stuff, you know, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, continue the brick under here, um, I'd do the wall material for that, and then I would just fill in everything with glass, like so. It's gonna look nice, and it's gonna look, you know, modern, like builds, even in real life, they have these huge windows and huge lights, and since I've never actually built underground myself, uh, in a modern style, I, I, you know, you'd still want big windows, I'd assume. But I don't really think, you know, this isn't like a real life style that people do at all. But I'm going to copy this exact thing right there and right there. And I'm going to come right back. All right, there we go. One, two, and three are complete. Everything looks good. Again, keeping the quartz block up there, brick down there and everything. Make sure you want to, you know, keep them all uniform. It looks like a, a boop tier. I'm going to put that down. Boop, boop, boop. And there you go. Nice little method. Uh, right here, I figure since the ceiling block is actually made out of uh, quartz. Oh, no. I broke the glowstone. And the trapdoors are still standing. Thanks, Minecraft 1.10. Uh, all I'm going to do here is instead of these cobblestone pillars, I'm going to change them out for quartz. The idea just struck me. I think it's going to look a little bit better in terms of, uh, you know, aesthetics. Ah, much better. Much better. I think that looks a lot better. Uh, as far as lighting, I'm just kind of slowly removing the torches just so I know where lighting is necessary. That's a good thing to do in all of your builds because you'll figure out what areas are dark, what areas aren't dark. Uh, because if you don't know where to put like stuff, then you're, you're never gonna know where to put stuff uh, Also before I uh, get too far in uh, make sure you make these little dividers right here like that And we'll figure out the entrances to each little room in a second here But just basically section off every room with some white glass like that I'm gonna do that remove all the torches and you'll you, you know what's next There we go all the torches have been removed now You're gonna need to find a way to get in and out of your uh, you know your builds. That's probably important uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a two-wide staircase right here, starting with stairs, and boop, 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 boop. There you go. If you want to, you can put some glowstone on this little block. Uh, it'll make it look a little bit better. And again, just doing the same thing. You want to make sure that your stairs line up is so, you know, kind of like that. You can go ahead and just fin off this glass one or two more blocks like that. And uh, now we've entrance those two rooms, and we'll do the same thing over here. That middle area, I guess, would technically be sort of useless, but if this, this if the house was built deep enough underground, which honestly, when I do the tutorial, I don't like to go too far under because I, there's you know there's no point. It's not in survival. But I'll just give you some tips right now. If it was in survival, you want to know what I would do? I'd build this really really deep. I wouldn't build it like super deep, but pretty deep, and I would mine out this area right here, and then do a little mine shaft or something down there. And that would look a heck of a lot better as far as like, you know, usefulness, I guess. Um, now this over here, you see how it's kind of dark? I'm going to take some torches and I'm just going to light it up a little bit just to give it some lighting. Uh, torches are okay. You know, if you put torches in one part of the build, 
then you're gonna have to put them in another part like like you can't just have torches in some places and you know in others none at all so if you're gonna put torches down make sure you at least put them somewhere else in the build so like this entrance way has uh, torches for instance and then you know if you wanted to make the corners look a little bit better you could do something like that and put some torches down you know just to, just to give a little bit more you know lighting the word wouldn't be you know lighting diversity let's put it let's put it that way and in this day and age let's admit it diversity is always welcomed so uh in the corner over here what i'm going to do is make a little sectioned off area a little bit of a room like this and this is just going to be where your bedroom would be and uh, we're not going to do, you know, the little thing over here because we already have the area lit up. But I'm going to just do some blocks of quartz like this. And again, you know, if we're doing kind of open concept, you don't want to have any walls that are too much, you know, like too much as in like they're they're just everything. Like they're they're not open. They're, you know, I, I don't really know what the words I'm going for here are, but you'll kind of see what I'm doing. Just making a little room here. I just did uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks and then just four right there. Made a nice little room. You don't even have to have a, like a, a roof on that. You really don't need one. But you know, just tall enough to sort of section off the bedroom because if you want to be sleeping with all the bugs and stuff, and that's okay. We're actually gonna go ahead and just go with this pillar right here as well. And let me just do it over here because I don't know. I, I like symmetry in builds, but sometimes symmetry isn't always the best. I'm gonna use some slabs of uh, oak wood. You know, these ideas are just sort of coming to me as I go. So we're gonna put some slabs on top of here instead of just doing uh, something like that. And it's always good to have a little bit of texture. So if you wanna do something like that, you could, or I'm just giving you guys ideas. Uh, yeah, I'm actually giving myself ideas. Uh, hold on, let, let me design this roof. Here we go, the ideas, ideas just struck me. So we're gonna take this oak wood, we're gonna bring it up like that, make it look like it's a part of the room. And then we're just going to uh, every block like this. So you, you probably see this a lot in a lot of modern builds, again, you're just sort of making it modern and making it modern means making it weird and sometimes you have to make design to choices that aren't just th they're just not going to make sense but in the end they will look good why will they look good couldn't answer that question because i'm not the best at modern but honestly uh bring this out one more like this and accompany and accompany this block but we're not even going to have that interior wall be right there we're actually gonna have it one out and then you'd want to bring this out and you know you know bring it out bring it out you know like the song and then you only put your windows right where that is and then you can just take this out and expand that one out and then put your window right there like that block right there and there you go and then you have a nice little bedroom area again it's not going to be something super super fancy but it is going to look nice um if you wanted to i guess what you could do you could just do something like that and put the floor just right there but you want to make sure you continue the same block everywhere you know for instance if there's there's a block right there it's also gonna have to be a block right there but, you know, if you want to do it how you want to do it, you do it how you want to do it. But if you don't want to do it how you want to do it, then you do it my way. Does that make sense? There we go. Now we have a little bit of a uh, an, an interesting looking doorway. We'll, we'll put it that way. An interesting looking bedroom. Does it make sense? No. Does it look good? Yes. So, I'm going to put some more torches up there just for lighting. Now, on the inside of the bedroom, what you need. Uh, well, I'll just grab all this material so I don't have to do it on camera. There we go. Those are the bedroom materials that I'm going to use. You don't have to use the same materials. Uh, if you wanted to do two beds, you could definitely get away with two beds right there. Um, as far as lighting goes in here, honestly, I would go with... Um, I'm going to figure out first. Let's see. What just happened? Uh, 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 there we go. F? Yeah, F. Okay, yep, okay. I don't like that. I think that's really weird that they did that, but you know. That's that's the new Minecraft. You can hold two blocks in your, your hands, which it doesn't make sense to me, but... It doesn't have to, right? It only has to make sense to the creators, I guess. Um, so now that I have that block free, I can grab a torch. There we go. Replace it with the gray carpet. No, with that. And uh, we'll just do some lighting up here. So again, you just need lights in your builds because, you know, lighting is always nice. It's not, not good to not have any light because then you can't see. Not seeing is the absence of light, and that's spooky sometimes. We're going to put some oak wood right there. Uh, each person can have their own little personal chest. You could do something like that. If, you know, since this is a bigger build, you could, I guess, do more than one of these rooms. But I'm just doing one because, you know, that's how I do. Um, over here, we can take a stair. And we can break out this wall. I mean, that's like the best thing, right? It, you don't have to keep that uniform in, uniform amenity. That's not a word. And I'm not going to use it ever again. I promise. I promise. But you want to make sure it's somewhat uniform in like, what? Why is the gravel? What are you doing there, buddy? 
coming out coming out strong like the future song right future and quavo future and i don't know who it is i don't i don't know i like the song but i don't know who it is and uh you know just keep in same same style everything you know you just do the gray carpet in here too so now you have a little bedroom area then if you wanted to in the middle here you could just take some glowstone and you could add a little bit of a uh, how you say je ne sais quoi probably not i don't think that's the right word for that but we can just have a little bit of storage back here and then while you're in here you could just do some furnaces and if you wanted to add some depth you could do them one ahead like that oh that's right i always forget when i build on carpet i have to break the block you do carpet like that you could take a stair and you could do uh you could do something in here like this and then take another stair do it like that you can't do it on that wall but that's okay sometimes not all not all walls are created equal fun fact um, we could take a painting, which I got rid of for some reason, and you could put it in here. You could also do two pots, do two blue orchids, because we're basic, and just do a nice little painting like, yep, that's beautiful, a skull. And you can actually do torches on the inside of that, fun fact. That looks really neat, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, if you wanted to make this look a little bit better, you could take a piece of oak wood and some oak wood leaves, and you could do something like that, and stick it in there. Make it look even more fancy, nice little bedroom. Uh, you could expand that all the way up because leaves are always welcome in a modern build. I think that looks pretty good for the bedroom, but you still have all this empty space and you may be wondering, what are you going to do with it? Let's find out now. Alright, sweet. So I figured it out because I totally did not have that uh, planned out in my head at all. But that's okay. That's just how it, that, that, that's how it go. That's how we do on uh, Neo Q's channel. Leave a like. Leave a like for that, uh, what's that called when you think of things on the spot? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think. Of, when I'm recording, I can't think of like words that everyone would, you know, it, it seemed like they're words you should always, you know, know. But I'll be honest, like sometimes you just can't think when you're recording. That's okay. I'm just going to put, I'm going to hold a torch actually so you guys can see when I do this. But see how I'm just sort of digging this area out and I already know what's going to go right here. You you guys don't, you guys don't even know, but I know. Uh, let's do some chests. Let's just clear out the inventory and let's grab a chest and let's grab glowstone. And you, now you know what I'm doing. If you're a subscriber and you've been here for a while, you know I love glowstone chest areas because they're beautiful. And you can't open the top locks, so we'll just do one chest there, and then we'll do furnaces in the back. You can always do that, and that looks just as good. There you go. Perfect. Um, bring down this cobblestone wall. Um, this is looking a little funky right here. Can I make it look unfunky if I do this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can make this look even better. Do something like that. Yep, something like that. Yep, perfect, awesome. Looks good to me. Um, actually, no, that doesn't look as good. I'll be honest. See, sometimes I'll change things and I, I don't think they look as good, but you know, that's okay. That's always okay. There we go. Now it's much more open. What just, I think it sounded like something just exploded outside of my house. That's always great when you hear that. You know, it's always a, a welcoming sound to hear. Uh, just gonna fill in the cobblestone walls there. We're going to do a brick floor on the inside. Perfect, perfect. Nothing too fancy. All right, so on this wall right here, so I've just filled in the brick. You guys didn't figure that out already. We're just going to do a nice little long table because long tables are nice and modern and fancy. Um, on the corner block here, you can just do something like that and then just end the end table like right there. Make it like that. Looks nice. You can put a torch on the end table, and that looks good too. And you can do some pots like this just you know random pots because everyone always you always need some pots in your builds because that just makes it look good you gotta remember right there is the actual interior wall you just do two crafting tables right there you actually just do a bunch of crafting tables if you wanted because modern equals weird equals question mark uh, you could do a crafting table right there if you wanted um, I guess in the back wall you could do another crafting table right there just put crafting tables everywhere because you're always having to use crafting tables even on the in the entryway you know right here we'll just do a crafting table and then we'll do a do a stair right here with pot and a blue orchid and then we'll just put a torch on top of here because it's a little bit dark in there now you have that walkway kind of done not really but for that area yes on the inside of here we're just going to fill in a couple blue orchids we'll do some alliums because they look nice i had to check the name thought i got it wrong and then one of these are bluets those are beautiful nice little flowers um if you want to kind of continue that pattern you do another torch right there that's this little underground room i'm sure you guys could fill it up with even more beautiful things if you do send the pictures on twitter but let's get started on the next room. All right, so I've just grabbed all the materials ahead of time. And basically now what we're going to do, we're going to build this walkway. The stairs are going to come down right here. So you just go ahead and build that. 
and then we're just gonna take this white glass we're gonna bring it over and dig out this inside area here we're gonna do an enchanting table room in here which will be nice and then a hybrid brewing room type thing don't really know we'll see where it takes us but hopefully it takes us somewhere beautiful always does always seems to at least we'll, we'll say it like that always seems to take us somewhere beautiful sometimes you know it can take us to a scary road where we don't want to be but if that happens I promise it'll all be okay we'll, we'll figure it out together you me and the rest of the 200,000 of you which only you know, like 10,000 of you watch but that's okay because I know some people got bored of Minecraft and you know I did for a little bit but it came back to me it came back strong coming out strong again uh, there we go there we go we're gonna need some torches for the time being won't need those anymore so I'm just gonna hold the torch uh, we're gonna do a brick floor in here you know the same you know continued pattern of brick floors in the rooms so that's you know pretty simple to figure out not gonna record that also if there's any places like missing you know the, the, the cobblestone just go ahead and fill those in you can fill this in with whatever because we're gonna end up breaking it anyways but we'll put a torch right down in the middle for now just for lighting uh, this this wall right here since it's just kind of open we're just gonna do two stairs and we're gonna do some slabs they're also made of the spruce slab spruces spruce slabs whatever you want to call them anything fancy we're gonna put those in there then you guessed it brewing stands all the brewing stands we're gonna do that put water in it water right there nice and then we're gonna take some enchanting tables and if you wanted to add even more depth to this you could you could just go under two blocks like that put the enchanting table uh, dig out the area around it like that and then you could just fill in all the bookcases so you just take books like this and again this just adds even more depth to your build do you need to do this no could you put it on that level uh, Yes, but you'd have to put it one over because in the bookcases would have to be like that because you can't break out this wall because that's the actual like block to the outside. So I figure we'll just depress it into the ground a little bit and it should look fine. Do some brick like that. This also gives us ample opportunity to light it up a little bit, make it look nice. Um, you could even do the bookshelves up here if you wanted to. And, well, actually, you shouldn't do that. Never mind. That should be a full 30. Actually, let's make sure. Yep, perfect. That is a full 30. And then you want to pick one side to like actually get in and out of your uh, thing, you know, your, your enchanting room. Because if you can't get in and out, then there's no point because it's, you know, it's just you're stuck in there if you fall in. I'm going to take that, that. It's like the most complicated way. I didn't even grab the glow. I did that entire little mission right there. I didn't even grab the block I was going for. That that deserves a like, right? Is, is that how it works? Is that how YouTube works? I deserve a like for me messing up. So there you go, brewing area. Um, if you want to make it look even more fancy, I, almost, I typed in sink because I'm an idiot. I need the lever. I, I, it makes a sink, but it's not a sink. Like that's not a block in the game. But now you have an enchanting table area. If you wanted to light this up, you could put glowstone right here. And then to make this all a little bit easier, you could take an anvil. And it always seems like there's an ender chest near these just in case you want to like enchant things. So take an ender chest. And then you could just do that right there. Yeah, the anvil right there. You could put the actual... Uh, I can't think of the name. The uh, the uh, 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 ender chest right there. Perfect. And then over here, we can just do something like this. Take some glowstone. Put it up there. Take some trapdoors. So you always get these like blocks lined out before I do the build. And then I totally like remove them when I'm building other parts. So it's pointless. I don't even know why I do it. There's no point anymore. We should just give up. Uh, as far as infinite water goes, you could do a really easy, like, infinite water source under here. You could take, oh, let's see, I have the glowstone in my hand. It's like, you know those times you lose things and they're just in your hand? That's, those are fun. Fun times. Um, you could do an infinite water source like that. If you just put the water right there and right there and then fill it in, it'll be infinite. So now you have infinite water when you're brewing your potions. But then over here, you guys probably have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do. Totally non-illegal nether wart farm. I promise, guys, you'll only get in trouble if you let people know you have it. So just try to not let people know you have it because that's never good. You know, if they, if they know you're growing it, and then they're going to they're gonna want it. They're going to want your nether wart, your awkward potions. They're going to want them all. They're going to steal them. They're going to freaking steal them. There you go. Nice little brewing room. Uh, the inner chest looks a little weird. It's in, like a, it's in like a weird spot. I guess we'll leave it. It's in kind of a weird spot. Nice little enchanting modern room. It's not super modern, but I mean, it's... It's as, it's as modern as it's going to get for an enchanting room, honestly. It doesn't need to be anything super fancy. You might actually need a crafting table, so that's probably a good thing. That'll make this look a little bit less out of place. Um, you could take a pressure plate that's made of wood and put that on top as well. Um, am I missing anything? Probably a couple chests somewhere. Let's find a spot for those. Let's, let's get creative here. 
Um, I guess along this entire wall you could do chest right there and chest right there. Yeah, that's fine with me. That looks good to me. And then remember, put the glowstone in. And remember, you can't this top block. Nope. Uh, just do a stair that's made of spruce. Put it upside down. That'll actually fit perfectly. And then you can go ahead and just uh, put your chest in there. Like that. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Nothing too complicated. Chest, 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 chest. Perfect. And then you could probably do another one right here. You probably should do another one right here if you want a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can... Can I grab it? Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Perfect. Uh, if you're on the PC and you didn't know, you can middle click and it'll like make the block select it. And that's like really helpful for building and creative. Now we have the enchanting room. Now let's get on to the uh, storage room over here slash uh, furnace smeltery room. So I'm going to, you know, get all those materials and come right back. All right, so before we get started on that, I was thinking of some spots for some oak leaves, and I think I, I think I have the solution here. I have a solution. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna take these oak oak right here, and we're gonna try to place them. Okay, we're just gonna go in here and do it because it's gonna be way too hard. And then we're going to fill in the back area again. More glowstone. Never can be too much glowstone. Are you gonna have to have a lot of glowstone from the Nether to build this? Probably. Um, again, it's more like an in-game house. That's why I'm going so in-depth and showing you guys literally every area that uh, needs to be like shown. So, trying to go as in-depth as I can. All right, so let's go over here and let's start on this. Uh, the wall right here. So we're gonna dig it out to where. Actually, we're we're, we're not even gonna dig. We're not even gonna have stairs there because this is just this is one of those builds. It's gonna be so intense that. It, we, we don't even need it. Um, we're just gonna break out this entire area under here. So again, we're gonna keep that pattern We're gonna continue that block down like that, but basically I'm just gonna dig out this entire thing right here uh, One away from this wall. Of course, you don't want to dig that in but just basically this entire area I've outlined right here. It's gonna be two down So like this 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 tall this tall. Let me do that come right back once that is complete Of course, you're gonna continue the same sort of brick floor in here So I'm not gonna show you guys that but I'm just gonna tell you so that you guys can do it and I've marked out these little things. It's going to be where our chest and dents go. So just kind of ignore those. I'll have to actually break under them and place the brick. But yeah, just do a brick floor in here. There we go. That's how you do that. Pretty good. And you see, you know, I just continued this gray hardened clay or cyan, whatever the heck it's called, down like that. And I've marked out these areas because these, these are going to be like where the chests are, right? So we're going to put a chest in the wall right there and just sort of mark out that area. You can do it like that right there and right there. And then you just break up these as high as you want the chest. I'm only going to do it like, mm, you can reach up to about that high. So I think that's about as high as I'm going to go as far as this chest go right there. So we're just going to mark out these sections and dig that up as high as well. And then right there, actually, we, we may not go that high right there because of the light fixture thingy. So we'll just do it like that. Have a nice little chest area marked out. I'm going to fill in all of these with the glowstone. And you guys remember at the top, so take your spruce stairs like that. So if this is the top, you take the spruce stairs, you put them right there. Put those ones right there. Those ones right there. And right there. And right there. And then now the part that I'm not going to record is putting all the glowstone in here. So like that, you know, you just you just fill it in like that. You can, you don't have to do glowstone. If you do, just put brick right there and then cyan clay on the back side of that. Uh, right there, do more cyan clay. But okay, never mind. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna pause the recording for that because there's gonna be little little things here and there that I'm gonna have to fill them anyways. Um, so again, filling in the clay anywhere it's needed, and more glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. Here we go, 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 go. Ooh, can I get? I <laughs> I completely failed at that one. Let's see if I can do like this one speed. Nope, that is. Oh no, that's actually really bad. I can't do that anymore. That sucks. Not on camera, at least. It seems like I can only not do it on camera. And then, of course, filling in your chests because you need the chests to be full of materials and goods. And what you can do is uh, you could, like, put a little... Uh, here, I'll, I'll just show you in a second. I'll show you in a second, I promise. Um, each, like, row of chests, you could take an item frame like this. Fun fact. And uh, you could put, like, like, do something like that just so you know what's on each row and uh here i'll show you what to do so like if if i do like building materials let's say these are gonna this is gonna be like cobblestone this would be the cyan clay this would be quartz and then this would be the bottom one be like smooth stone and that's just for those two chests right there and then for the ones to the right you could do like if this is gonna be a live stuff so you could do a live stuff you could do like uh the wheat you could put it like that you can do seeds. You basically you just organize the chest and like you'll, you'll kind of get the hang of it since it's in like your own sort of like house, you'll understand what they mean. But you can just do nice little things like that. 
and do some storage. I mean, it really doesn't matter what you put in these blocks, but like if you wanted to do, oh, I have a chest of chests, you know, that's that, that's a paradox right in and of itself. You could do a cactus here. You could do, I'm just taking random blocks at this point, a jukebox. Maybe you have a, a box full of mushrooms because you like eating them or whatever. I don't, you can't even eat them, but you can make potions. You can make potions. You want to put a slime block there, go ahead. You want to put iron bars in this one. I think you guys sort of get the gist, so. Um, can you do that? Okay, that 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 looks too scary. <laughs> that looks like that looks really weird. Um, you could do mossy stone. I mean, honestly, guys, just fill these in with whatever you want them to be. It does not matter. This is taking way too much camera time. Me just randomly picking blocks. All right, we're just gonna go in here. We're just gonna scroll down. We're gonna pick a block. There we go. Pink hard and clay. Perfect. And then, now, well, it actually matches the background. That's interesting. But that's basically what you do there. Um, as far as this goes for the furnace, like room. This is like a furnace smelting room. Uh, if you wanted to change up the materials, like just for right here in the room, let's go ahead and break these torches because we are going to need lighting. Contrary to popular belief, you do need lighting. Um, the bottom row, I would remove these just for, you know, uh, sake of sanity because we're going to do something like this. We're just going to add a bunch of lighting because we always need lighting. You can never have too much lighting. Some people say otherwise. <clears throat> Brady. Um, but you know, you don't want to ever have, that's my, that's my cousin, by the way. He's a very smart individual. He teaches a class at a local vocational school. He's a very smart dude. Way smarter than I'll probably ever be, but that's okay. That's all okay. We all, we all have our own intelligence levels. I'm good. I'm good at this. That's all you guys need to know, right? I'm good at this. Um, we're just going to fill in this with some stone and then we're going to take some furnaces. And then, you, you know, you don't want to fill up the entire, because you fill up the entire wall, like right here, it's going to be kind of tricky to get in that chest. So right there is going to be like the end cap furnace and the end cap furnace. And then again, you just want to put all the furnaces in here. Um, on the corner block, obviously you can't, but if you wanted to say, let's see, does glowstone connect? Is it a block that would connect to, yes, it does. Okay. Well, that defeats that, but you could put the glowstone in here and then put a trap door if you wanted to on top. I don't know, something like that. You could just put trap doors on top of all of these if you're on the PC version. If not, uh, I'd put some like wooden slabs on top of them. That would actually look a heck of a lot better. Let's not do that. Let's do uh, let's do that. Wooden slabs like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So much better. There we go. Makes them look nice and like accompanied inside of that. And there you go. That's a little smelting room. And uh, I think the last room since we have, so we have the smelting and storage room. We have the bedroom. We have the enchanting and everything. So I'm going to think of something for this room right here. Something special for you guys. All right, sweet. We're going to make, you know, since we already have everything you need in a normal build, we're actually going to do a pool in here. An indoor pool with uh, hopefully a little secret at the end. So I stay for the end of that. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. If you have watched up until this point in the video, I think you somewhat enjoy what I'm doing. Somewhat enjoy my voice or maybe a combination of the two. So uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely consider that because that's awesome. You can become a part of a nice group of people, nice group of individuals who enjoy also what I do. And you guys can talk in the comments and be like, hey, do you think this build's bad? Like, yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's tell Neo and leave a dislike. Like, that's fine. As long as you're not plotting to end my life, I am good with whatever you guys want to do in the comment section. If you do that in the comment section, I'll probably just block you from my channel because that's, that, that's spooky. I don't want that. That's weird. Um, so as far as pool goes, um, we're going to do a brick right here. And we're just gonna fill that up into the wall. Perfect. I just thought, I just thought, why don't we have, why don't we have any crafting tables in this like smelting room? Like, what, what was I thinking? Like, why is it? You know what? Let's just do, let's just do something like this because we're fancy and we can afford just a bunch of crafting tables in weird, uh, I don't think monotonous locations. I don't think that'd be the right uh, word. You could do something like that. Put a trap door there. You could even take a pot if you wanted to make, or yeah, we'll take a pot and make it look even fancier. Do something like that. You could put a, what's something that you would, um, what's a cool looking sapling? Jungle sapling. You could just randomly put that in there. So you're like, yeah, I'm so rich. I have a jungle sapling just at my disposal. So what's up? What's up? Um, on the inside of here, you could, you could take this. You could take out that block right there. Put a little, put a little, you know, a little something, a little window in there. If you just want to gaze into the, uh, gaze into the room. That looks nice. Oh yeah, there you go. Thinking of things on the spot, go me. Um, this block right here, you're gonna wanna break out this top one, but don't dig it down yet. Don't dig it down just yet, because I, I made that mistake before when I was building, um, 
uh, building pools in the beginning of my like whole Minecraft career, I would just, I would like dig it all the way down and then I'd be like, well, wait, how do I put the water? And I'd get really confused, but there's a really easy way to build an indoor pool. It's not, it's actually not as hard as most people think. Um, I'd go ahead and just bring the cyan clay down until you get to the water like this. So you see how I'm doing that? Don't, don't do what I just did right there. Again, gray cyan clay. I'm just going to call it that because that's, that's what it is. And perfecto. And then uh, what we're going to do, take mossy. I know it's a hard material to get. So if you can't get it and you don't have very much of it, just sort of do spotted, I guess. Did I break that? Yeah, I did. I broke it. I done broke it. Did it. And then we're just going to do mossy here. And that's what we're going to do for all the walls and the uh, part of the pool. And there's a little secret. I promise there's a secret. Uh, so now go ahead and just fill in all your waters. How you do that? You just, you know, just take a bunch of buckets and just hope it makes infinite water. It's kind of difficult with shaders, like to tell what is infinite and what is not. But I think, except for right over here, I think we're looking good. That should be enough water. Yeah, I think that's definitely enough water. We can do pool lights, but now let's just go ahead and dig it down. It doesn't need to be super deep, so I'm just gonna dig it down uh, three deeper than it is. There we go. So just make sure you've dug it out that deep. And then for the floor here, we're going to do quartz blocks. I know it's kind of hard for you to see, but I'm going to do quartz block floor. And then, you know, obviously continue this mossy right here. Um, we're not going to do it on that block. That's okay. Um, but we're just going to do mossy everywhere else. And then quartz. So you kind of see what I'm doing there. Continue that all the way around. All right. So you're definitely going to need pool lights underwater because if you don't have pool lights, what are you doing? You can't see and that's never good. So we're just going to do some pool lights on the sides like that. There we go. And then right here, we'll do the same sort of thing in the middle, putting more pool lights, put the glass on top of that. And then on this wall, we'll just do like one, uh, one big one. And don't, don't worry. Didn't forget about the secret guys. Did not forget about the secret. Believe me guys. I'm a man of my word. Sometimes when it doesn't come to like, uh, making, making like, Oh, I'm going to make a series. I couldn't, I, I just, I don't know. It's something about that that I just, I don't know. It irks me. It irks me. So we're just going to take some ladders here. We're going to make a little bit of a diving board. So if you don't know how to do that, just keep watching. I'll, I'll teach you guys how. Uh, it doesn't need to be super high off the ground because it's just like a, it's not, it's not a very big pool. So like you don't want to like, just like, wee, and I guess we should have the deep end of the pool be right here, question mark. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. So the deeper end of the pool, we can just do it like three blocks deeper. If you guys can somewhat see what I'm doing here. I know I'm underwater and it makes things like all like wavy because of shaders, right? Um, then we're just going to continue the mossy like that. And then of course you want to have a quartz floor in here. So I'm going to do that real quick and do the moss like right, right, right there too. So, and Geronimo, there we go guys. There we go. Pretty much completed as far as that goes. Next step is going to be this secret room that I've been talking about. So find a wall that looks somewhat hidden. So like right here and break it out and then put the put the two signs right here to block the water from flowing and boom you got your secret room thank you guys for watching bye i'm just kidding uh let's get this done so let's put the quartz block right there and you want to just sort of make a path to where you want your uh secret room to be so i'm just going to do it like right there and then i want a three high ceiling oh yeah got to get that three high ceiling guys if you don't have a three high ceiling you're not living um we'll put a torch right here so let's just grab that because we're gonna need some torches don't need the signs anymore and then i'm just gonna do a full moss brick uh, wall in here and then I'll just do a quartz floor just sort of match the pool it looks kind of nice you can just dig out any size of room really you want I'm just gonna put some fun stuff in here it really does not matter what you do in your secret room but I will uh, build a little secret room and then I'll show you guys what it looks like I'm just gonna break this out and we'll just make a it's a one two three and a one two three and then so this is a total of seven blocks. I'll go ahead and just do, so that'd be two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you just dig out this room and make it into a room. And there we go. And then on the corners here, I'm just I'm gonna put that torch down just so you guys can see. Gonna put some mossy brick cobblestone in the corners just to make it look like it's somewhat supported. Then we can go ahead and just lay down the torches up there. And then on the walls, you can just do, I mean, since we already have that, you can just do cobblestone walls. And then for the floor in here, I'm going to do something kind of fun. So we'll just start out with a diamond checkerboard or a diamond quartz block checkerboard pattern thingy. So diamond blocks. If you don't have diamond blocks, don't do diamond blocks. But never built with like diamond blocks. Like I guess I have back in a Minecraft. Oh, what was that called? Oh, that's not right at all. It's a Minecraft creative just uh what was it called it was before invdev when minecraft well actually it wasn't before invdev it was like during it was the free version of minecraft it was uh oh, i'm trying to remember what it was called but it was a long time ago it was a long time ago if you guys have been around for that long you guys are the og 
OG Minecraft players. You've been here for a while. And that's that's really cool. Because I was around in those days too. And I played the crap out of that. That was so fun. I remember like the uh, lava servers. It was like escape the lava. And the lava would slowly fill up on the server. Everyone would be building this crazy stuff. And sometimes they would like turn off flying if you're doing that. It was just... It was just a heck of a lot of fun, I think. Uh, as far as the floor goes in here, I'm just gonna do a spruce, uh, spruce wood floor, just like, or not, uh, ceiling, sorry, not floor. So just a spruce wood ceiling like this, nothing fancy. There we go, that's how the room is going to look. I'm gonna design this and come right back. There we go, I don't know why I put a melon farm in here, but we have like our sacred tools, like our first diamond mine, our first uh, ender dragon kill, you got the nether star, you know, all that weird stuff, and you know, he's killed the weather skeleton with that one. The, pick you mined your first something with and some armor here a special pickaxe you mined with some storage that actually works because I, I i'll put a slab there because i'm smart oh let's grab the right block there we go so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this awesome long tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did click that like button if we could get 5,000 likes i know that's a lot to ask for but this is a huge video and maybe a bunch of people watch it but 5,000 likes would be so so awesome i don't think i've ever gotten that many on a video that i can think of Maybe I have, I, I think I have on some other ones, but those were like millions of views. But let's see if we can do that with like just 10,000 people. That would be so awesome. If like, if you're watching this and you're subscribed and you have a YouTube account and you did that, that would be, that that would that would make my, my, my year, honestly. That would be 5,000 people liking it. I don't know, but yeah, if you're new to the family and you want to subscribe, feel free to. It's going to be pretty awesome. There's going to be a lot of cool tutorials and such. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys want to know the texture pack, shader pack, music, any of that stuff, it's all in the description below. So it's pretty awesome. We came out with a pretty cool house, I think, after all, with a nice little secret underground room. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.